Good day, Scorpio viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for bringing your awesome energy. Thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel, and that notification bell will let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. I was just shuffling for the overall energy for this general reading for July 2024. So, Spirit, what does the Scorpio Collective need to know for July 2024? And yes, this is a general reading, not personal. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find that this uh, resonates maybe with somebody you know is going through something specific mentioned in my reading, then feel free to pass it along to whomever. It will help your person and it will get my message and my healing messages out. And that's, you know, what I'm here for. All right, so Spirit, what does the Scorpio Collective need to know for their greatest good for July 2024? I, nope, okay. July 2024, thank you. Oh my gosh, this card. This card keeps coming out. You people need to start trusting. Trusting the universe, believing in, in, in magic, the specialness behind our connection with our ancestors and guides and guardians. Okay, so we have standing firm and revealing radiance. Okay, I just got this um, energy that somebody i feel like a transformation or um like a glow up i feel like somebody has that you haven't seen in a while and that you might be coming in contact with or coming across has um really really changed has an appearance wise maybe they you know are did their hair different or they lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight um either way but they're looking fabulous you know whoever this is is really radiating um i'm also hearing that um you are very very connected to your higher power right now very connected um so if you're manifesting anything, if you are putting vibrations out into the, to the universe, watch also your words because what you say is what you're bringing back to you. So you are very, very connected. So make it a positive things and get your vibration up there. You know, use positivity, um, use positive words, positive phrases, uh, speak things into existence. It's really, really important from what I am hearing that um, you're using positive tone, positive words, sending good messages out into the universe. So all that goodness comes back to you because I just keep hearing you're very connected. Um, I'm also hearing that with this standing firm card we're at a time right now where i feel like there's a huge divide I, a lot of people feel like there's a huge divide and a lot of people are very very firm on what they believe um which is which is important it's important to take um action on those who um aren't heard so I'm hearing activist, I'm hearing, um, you know, somebody who is there for the people who can't help themselves, maybe the homeless or the unhoused. Um, we're just getting out of pride month. Uh, you know, people who are sick, maybe people who are uh, disabled and, um, you know, there's so many different people who are un, who don't have the, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? 
the um like somebody who who mm, I'm so sorry I can't think of the word like an advocate I guess an advocate for them you know um because they don't have the platform to make their voices heard so you know just one person might not be able to be heard but look how many rocks this person has built so they could be seen so they can be standing out from the crowd so sometimes it takes more than one to stand out so if you are an activist or in a parade or some kind of doing something to bring a cause then keep doing it there are so many people who don't have the voice to be able to do what you can do to help others it's really really important that we no matter how divided we are right now that we come together to help um whoever needs our help humans helping humans it's so important to reach our hand out when we can yeah economy is tough right now but that doesn't mean you can't use your actions to help somebody which is absolutely free it doesn't cost a dime to be kind so think about you know standing firm on what you believe totally agree in making that power move showing people that you care showing people you know they're something in this world okay so let's move on to tarot after my spiel spirit what does scorpio collective need to know thank you thank you what message does the scorpio need to know okay so we have the hanged man in reverse and death in reverse and also the king of pentacles in reverse so i do see that something is starting over i do see that however you might not be looking at something fully or the full potential of something um I feel like you're going to give something another go or a second chance, or maybe somebody's given you a second chance, but like I said, you're not realizing the full potential of this, this chance, or you're not seeing how much it means to this person or the impact it's going to have on your life. Now this King of Pentacles in reverse, I'm going to clarify what do you mean by this king of pentacles in reverse for the scorpio collecto what do they need to know about this king of pentacles in reverse what is it that they need to know thank you Okay, somebody So I feel like somebody is might have thought been too I just heard the term too big for too big for your britches like thinking that they're they're better than other people when they're not. Um, I feel like they they felt like they were in a superior position. Um, but for some reason, they got knocked off of their, their pedestal. Or whatever made them think that they were higher or above you. 
they got knocked off their pedestal or will be knocked off their pedestal by a circumstance that's going to happen. Um, and this is kind of like um, karmic almost with this temperance clearing this. You know, this is alchemy coming into play. The universe taking control. It's like this person was unfair to you. I just heard the word demeaning, maybe. Um, like I said, I feel like this person was maybe too big for their britches. They just thought they were something special and they were just like all the rest of us. But they kind of used maybe they're a manager or so in some sort of position where they felt like they could have dominance. This could be even, you know, a husband wife situation or a partnership situation. Um, but they felt like they were in a, like a role of dominance or control. And they are now being shown through karmic actions that they're not. Um, the universe is working on, on making an even playing field and putting this person into um, alignment. Okay? And, you know, and this whole time, while this is all happening, you're still with your cup of love, <laughs> you know, you knew and you trusted that, you know, it was going to be handled by the universe, which is why you said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give it to my higher power and they're going to take care of it. Um, they're going to, you know what, I, I have gone through enough. I have, um, you know, hopefully gotten away from that circumstance and you gave it to the universe, and the universe is and will take care of it. Spirit, what else does? Thank you. Yep. You feel like there might have been an injustice. This is, again, an injustice. Look at that. And we all know the King of Swords is very cold. I feel like this is somebody that you were, who is in your energy on a regular basis. Like I said, this could be like a boss figure or this could be like a partner of some kind, um, romantic partner, house partner. Um, it could be family member. But this person is just wearing you down. This person isn't being fair. This person is, is cold, if you get any emotion from them at all. Very standoffish is what I'm getting. I, feel like I just heard the word brutal. Like maybe their words or their actions could be brutal. I really hope that if this is your circumstance that you're able to seek safety or get out of this relationship or this energy that they have you in. Spirit, what else does the Scorpio collective need to know for their greatest good? Thank you. Ooh, we got a couple cards that came out here. Yep, a temperance again. Yep, the universe is conspiring in your favor. Um, right now, you are feeling like this person is making you feel like you're undeserving. This person is making you feel less than, like you're not worthy. Um, but the universe is conspiring and you're in your favor. You have to believe that. And I'm so sorry that you have to go through this. But the universe is is seeing this and is conspiring in your favor to help you. Thank you. 
Yeah, you are. You're broken. You're broken right now. Um, this makes me think that it's a work relationship or a partnership or um, you're trying to make things work out or you try to make things work out. But do you see how it's blowing up? You're trying to hold on to something. Do you see how it's blowing up? It's on fire. This is a four of pentacles. Time to get out of that before you suffocate. All right, let's get a concluding message. All right, spirit. Shuffling for the Scorpio Collective. What do they need to conclude this reading for July 2024? What words do they need to hear? What advice? Thank you. Okay, so we got the dark side of the moon, mystery. Drawing this card suggests that the way forward is not yet brightly lit, so to speak. Right, you can't see. You're, you're in, in so much pain here. You can't see. <sighs> there is mystery surrounding your question. You probably already sensed that. It could be that someone isn't being entirely upfront with you. Don't be alarmed. It may simply be that whoever this question involves doesn't yet feel ready to show all their cards. And perhaps the situation you're inquiring about hasn't yet fully evolved to its final state. And at this point, it's just impossible to know the answer to your question. The best thing to do is to work with what you, you do know and surrender the needs to, everything, to know everything. On one hand, it could be that the answer to your question is shrouded in darkness because there is some foul play happening. On the other, it could be that you just don't need to know more, or at least not yet. Stay optimistic now rather than focusing on any fears you have around your situation. You have free will. Some things are better left unsaid. Trust the universe and see what happens. Face any fears around your question and see your glass as half full. So Spirit's just saying, keep your chin up. Um, keep fighting through each day until you're able to see what you're supposed to do here. Until you're able to, to get that opportunity for change and keep looking everywhere for your opportunity for change um the universe is working it even said it the universe is working towards this towards change and i do feel like there is some kind of karmic situation that's going to put this person in in order you have to believe that I just feel like you need to give it to the universe, get it out of your head if you can, and let the universe take control and do with the person as, as it may. All right, thank you for tuning in, Scorpio. Um, I wish this was a little bit more positive. Um, I will be sending out healing energy and positive energy to you guys. Um, doesn't seem like this is going to be an easy July for you. All right, so hopefully you will tune in and, um, you know, check in, tell me how things are going, and uh, click on like, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I go live a couple times a week now. So um, try not to miss my lives, and until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, Scorpio.